What's up guys? This is the Roofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to Door Let's Play as Great Britain. Now, I bet you guys are wondering, wait a minute, what the hell? Weren't we fighting the Russians? We were. But uh, you know the old trouble I had at the start of the campaign where when I was at war with Russia and they crashed my save? Well that happened this time again. So uh, what's actually going on is I'm, I've uh, replayed the... the uh, I've replayed the save um, to generally being the same point, but it might be a bit different. But we're, we're sort of the right ballpark. I mean, we've got we've got our thirteen colonies, we've got our armies up here. We're rebuilding our we're building our armies up again to send them off to the uh, to the new world. So yeah, we've got whatever our plan is. It's got to be not involving the war against the Russians, and we've just got to let the Ottomans gobble them up, which is kind of annoying but okay but we can't fight the russians which means we don't want the danish the, the yeah the danish to uh declare on us so right now we are building up our strength for an invasion of india while also slowly ratcheting up our strength in europe to make sure that they can't do anything to us so, we've got, so i do want some anglo armies to sail over to india so we will likely recruit some let's recruit two turns worth of third rates and then we'll bring kevin mcdowell over to well they will join the attack on india two more units to be recruited here in this force which may also join them we've also got a field marshal being recruited in england which will actually be we've got ferguson rifleman let's get one of those and let's get a unit of green jackets and let's get one single unit of pikes. Um, but this will be one of the armies. I want, I want to slowly keep building armies to reinforce um, my front here. So yeah, we can't attack the Russians. They're, they're untouchable. And we've got to carry on doing what we're doing. Um, not that there's a lot we can actually do. So I need to wait. Yeah, a lot of Marines are being recruited for everyone. But I think there's going to be some rejigging as we... Like, pre in the previous episode, I was recru recruiting a lot of howitzers, but I can't get them till um, next turn. So, yeah. Got a bit of a bit of rejigging to do. Um, like I, said, I have tried to do generally the right thing. The, pre the, th the same thing as I've done previously. Um, it's a shame that the Russians ha are that critical point of failure in this campaign, but there's, n there's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is just try and... You can either accept that they are going to kill your campaign or you can play around it and and uh yeah the likelihood is if if russia is the last territory in the game that is not ours then what will likely have to happen is the final episode will be a giant episode where we take and capture the uh, well, the last couple of episodes <clears throat> the last the well, my last recording session can't end until the russians are destroyed so if we end the session, we might will probably end up um, being losing our save. New nation rises, Dagestan. <laughs> They're back. They're back to conquer the world again as a protectorate. So we're just going to carry on doing our upgrades. Oh, good. Albany's built. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I went to build this, and I suddenly thought, oh, there we go, the Worcester Regiment. Yeah, sweet. So we can get some of those. And that's that was the elite unit. Just may as well keep upgrading our military buildings elsewhere because you never know if the enemy lands an a, a amphibious invasion somewhere. It's always nice to have that recruitment recruiting capacity, pretty much globally, to uh, to respond. Obviously within reason. Santa Fe doesn't need a military governor's barracks. I've done the Philadelphia stuff. So I keep dropping in the money. We've done okay, Panama. We're down to Panama. Metal roads, blah blah blah. blah. Santa Fe roads. Yeah, we got there. French Guiana. New roads. Commercial base and upgrade to global trading company. You can't. You're not changing. So I can get a steam engine factory. Oh God, alive! Don't worry. At the very least, lots of these upgrades are actually 
Um, they are actually like the top tier upgrades. So once we've built them, that's it. They're done. They're not gonna. They're not gonna come back again. Once they've been upgraded, they're upgraded. So here, right. So what? Are, so now we should have the ability to build howitzers, which we do. So let's just recruit a bunch, and then we can divvy them up as we need. Fleet arrives. Yeah, you are. You fought in the. Um, I can't remember. The eastern, uh, the eastern, well, the Straits of Madagascar. So you guys need to replenish, and then you can go back out on your merry way. You guys are pretty much look like you're going to be useless. So let's scupper them. Three more fifth rates to sail out to the East Indies Trade Theatre to recruit all the privateers we can get. Another two batches of fifth rates. Bit of a lag spike there. Aye, aye, sir. So, that's our actual fleet that can guard. Three ships take this position, one ship sail up to here. So we've got the Ottomans and the Greeks are out here as well. You've got, you're a bit damaged, but it's only against a small Barbary States fleet, so you don't need to immediately go home. And in England, this is the bones of another elite army being built. But let's, again, let's not make sure not to fill it out with too many, too many of our elites, he says, with a whole load of elites. Yeah, you guys are going to definitely gonna land in England. You guys are going to march around to join Oliver Chatton. See, Edinburgh, we've got a whole bunch of elites to join this army. Which actually means I'm probably going to cancel... Cancel the Fusiliers and replace them with regular line. So this is a field marshal. And it's a field marshal of Europe, so I'm going to keep him here. He is going to pretty much be deployed to cover, to cover Western Europe. So let's make sure everyone that can be taxed is being taxed. Because I don't do this enough. It's very easy to tax somewhere and then just never revisit it and go, okay, cool. You're so focused on the public order side, you don't look at... You you exempt them from tax and think, oh, I'll remember to, to unexempt them from tax, and you never do. So it's just wise to give it... to give everything a once-over. Like Morocco. It's four and a half thousand in tax. Spain as well. That's a lot of tax exempt, tax exempt regions. There we go. So you, you, this garrison's strong, so you can just march down to hit the. We're not going to attack the Barbary states in the fl in the port because why would we? When we can replenish and march on their last remaining capital, they can't do anything. They might deploy these these guys to attack Tunis, but that's part of the reason why I've been building up a, a garrison here. There we go. So these guys are all ready for a future war against the Ottomans. Two more ships should fill you up. Some third rates here, which... Okay, let's get HMS Raw George because you'll be a flagship. There we go. Get second rate ship of the line. Good, 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 good. 171,000 a turn. Not as much as we'd like, but not, not too shabby. Cambridge, you might actually work on. To be honest, there's no nothing for you to work on really. All our spies are doing a sterling job. Mm. All these 
these Ottomans. Crew some light infantry into here as well. Good. Yeah. War will war will be upon us in the Baltic states in no time. So let's recruit. Where's HMS Elizabeth? I can't recruit it here, only in England, it would appear. So let's start building up some ships to go out and do some naval shenanigans. But yeah, the what we're gonna be doing for now is just building up our Ooh, what? The Prussians are attacking... What? The Prussians are attacking... Okay, I'm not going to get involved. They don't need me. <laughs> oh, it was a rebellion, I see. The Württembergs rebelled against the um, the Prussians, which, hopefully, if they can rebel and win, then I will go over there and take um, Strasbourg for ourselves. We don't want to let such easy pickings escape our grasp. Hmm. The Russian question is a difficult one. Because Denmark might be the wild card that is up to no good. Denmark could be the one that goes and uh, spoils it all. Although... Although, Denmark, you're allied with the, the um, 13... Uh, you're allied with the Marathas. Okay. I was hoping you might be allied with the Knights of St. John. Yes. Because then we could just... Okay, you're, you're going to stand just outside of the city. Then you're going to besiege it when you're fully replenished. New port emerges. Yorktown. Well, you're going to get a trade port. And let's recruit a couple of sloops here. There we go. So we're doing this now so that when we start fighting loads of significant battles, we haven't got to worry about it and it's already done. We can focus on the the war fighting aspect. And like I said, the, ma the majority of these buildings are becoming, increasingly becoming top tier buildings, which means they shouldn't be um, as much of an issue for us. I mean, I do... I mean, it doesn't sound like it because I'm, I mean, I'm actively picking out the buildings that are no longer top tier. But soon they will be. These are all in the Carolinas, aren't they? Yeah, T's two Weavers Cottage here at Charlotte and Raleigh. It is Charlotte, yeah, Charlotte. There you go, all these metal roads and. And uh, the territory of Curacao. Cool. So back at the Americas. So part of my previous investing was I just gave everyone a load of troops. Um, I maxed them out. But now we've got howitzers. We no longer might actually want to do that. Which means some of these troops may get so you've got... That's not a bad army. I might steal a unit of pikemen away. More. So you can get a howitzer unit, Roland Nordell. And Roland Nordell can position himself to attack the, Pueb the, um, the Pueblo nations. He will get there in time. Your Majesty? Yeah, next turn we'll crew a bunch of howitzers and then we can start to divvy them out. And if you have to steal some units, some troops away, like this army, it's, oh, it's got yeomanry, which while they are quite elite troops, they will be lost and they will be directly replaced by Curacier. But some of these units may be pulled out of this army and well a lot of them will be to be honest because a lot of infantry and not much artillery so let's get rid of the demi cannons directly replace you with a 12 pounder upgrade these buildings here okay fleet arrives so uh, one of our lone fifths three three two three there we go 
recruitment of port. So our little um, transport fleet is ready. First, the first Baron Hawk. So this fleet does need one last big ship. So let's not get a named ship because that will be... I'll create another Admiral. Your recruitment's going well. We've also got... Oh, did I double recruit skirmishes? I have. So let's cancel recruitment of those. Bring these guys down. You're joining them. One more turn till the Connaught Rangers are built. To be honest, I may as well just... Keep Belfast recruiting special troops. They're, well, they're, they're unique troops. Agent executed. Ah, they found him. The rest of my spies are doing just fine. Um, recruit report. Okay, what about... So Field Marshal of Europe's been built. Lots of troops in Europe. More ships. Another third rate in the Irish Sea. Well, lots of third rates in the Irish Sea. I might actually... You can join Edward Hawk and his third rate cohort. And let's sail to Waterford. These two fifths can sail to the East Indies. So I don't currently have a fleet watching um, Brazil, but I will soon have a pretty decent fleet to send out there. Make no mistake. Okay, power loom. Is that power? Not power loom. Mass production. Mass production is a great tech. Reduces recruitment costs, and it's a pity that we're doing such a massive amount of recruiting at the moment. Um, but nevertheless, it will still be useful down the line. But yeah, my intention would be to build... My, my intention is to build a invasion of India force. I should really keep building up in Europe as well. Well, I am building up in Europe, but not, not maybe as much as I should be. Right now, we've got kind of a thin crust of a defensive position rather than a, a more suitable defence in depth, at least in a lot of regions. So I hope the Ottomans are trying to churn on, churn out a plan to attack the Russians. We know that they're going to be pushing on Kazan, because in the last episode, with the previous save, when we pushed on Kazan, there was a force right there. Um, so the Ottomans are going to be an interesting enemy. Um, but yeah, if we can take... India, and I'm probably going to try and deliberately attack from the south rather than attacking Calcutta, because that's what we're doing in the Italian States campaign, so I don't want to do too much of a... too much copying. Um, but it looks like the computer is, ch is really chugging on trying to work out what they want to do. So I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when they are ready. So, see you in a second, everyone. Ooh, that's actually interesting. That they've offered peace. So I'm tempted to do it because if we make peace with the Marathas, then what we see is that they are allies with Denmark. So that could be a way to draw Denmark into a war, but not pull Russia in if we declare war on the, Mughal, the Marathas in future. That would be quite interesting, I think. So let's do it. So my armies in the Americas may actually deploy against the Ottomans. That could be how this goes. Or at least some of them will. It's only a matter of time before we are at war with the Ottomans. Or do I declare on the Prussians? I mean, we're allied with the Prussians. So it will give us diplomatic, diplomatic penalties for doing it. But I think it's probably... Hmm. Is it the best? I don't know. Sooner or later, this war's got to happen. It just has. And there's not a lot we can do about it. We can only keep picking away at our um, smaller enemies for so long before we end up needing to just engage the enemy head on. And I think it's probably time to do it. I think.
Because yeah, the Barbary states are gonna they're gonna go, they're gonna die when this army this army is gonna siege Tripoli and is going to stay defensive. Because I mean, it's a pretty good army, so just sit here, let them break upon your walls. Then that will be this army. That'll be these guys will disappear. Then that'll open up a southern front against the Ottomans. So we'll be fighting in Eastern Europe, Western Europe. Potentially landing in the Balkans and also in the Middle East. New port emerges. Georgetown in the Carolinas. So this is the reason why I made New York build a couple of sloops. Because I figured it's not going to be long till they're all ready to pop. Keep upgrading. It would be nice to take out Denmark. But I think, I think I am just ready to attack, to start, you know, World War One. Because I don't think it's going to, well, either they're going to start it or I'm going to start it. And they've not done anything in a really long time while we've been attacking. And part of me thinks, would I want to be involved in a giant war in India and then they attack me? Is that better? I don't think it's a better outcome. So I think that's the way to do it. We're going to attack. I mean, we're, bizarrely, the Indians were described as being was weak. I suppose they are. I mean, I don't think this is true, because it makes Prussia look tiny and impuny in comparison to ours. Um, but if we attack Prussia... So obviously Stuttgart, well, I'd want to hold here to lure them into a river battle. But Hanover is vulnerable. Berlin is vulnerable. They've got a couple of armies here. I think this is the way to do it. So let's take this sloop over to Greenwich. Get the militia out. Kevin McDowell. Get him aboard. Ship. Sail to Calais. Disembark the army. The question is, will the Ottomans join them? And if they do, that'll be f that'll be really good, actually. Let's push you guys up to the border. We could we could sit in their territory and then attack them immediately, and that's probably the smart thing to do. But I don't want to do it. It doesn't feel like you're playing a straight bat. General Field Marshal of the Army, joined by Kevin McDowell, soon to be joined by Field Marshal of Europe. There we go, line infantry guards. To be honest, I might actually commit both both these armies into the battle. Oh no, they can't make it this turn. That's okay. You've got one more turn waiting for the next unit of Connaught Rangers to join you. And you might actually start building not too special of a unit, because most of our cool units can be built in are being built in England, so you're actually gonna do you have to build heavy horse howitzers? No, there we go. 24 pounder howitzers. Just keep churning out the ships for trades. Let's send this navy out to South America. Upgrade the sign masters works. So let's take this fleet under John John Binge Bing. On our way, Captain. And let well, no, it's not gonna make too much of a difference, but let's sail him up to near this Ottoman navy. Because Prussia they don't they, they don't like us anyway. Um, see, they're allied with the Ottomans, and they're at war with Russia. It's funny the Marathas are indifferent. Let's try trade with them. <laughs> Fair enough. See, we're very friendly with the Ottomans, but we're hostile with the Prussians, so the Prussians might actually um, join us. Open negotiation. Cancel trade agreement. 
We find the trade with you is unnecessary. Actually, I counted, cancelled it on you. So let's. So they've got the ally. The Ottomans are their allies, but they like us. So let's see. The alliance broken. The Ottomans did not join Prussia. Excellent. So this is a concern. But there's not a lot we can do about it. So St. Petersburg, your job is to churn out line infantry. Got an army over here. That's oh, the army, the garrison of Moscow, under Richie Compton is going to pull out, march over to here as well. Moscow is fairly secure, anyway. Let's do some upgrades here. So we could jump on Gdansk or Warsaw, but I don't have any. Really, the smart thing to do would be to spend a turn in each of these cities, build up a a basic garrison that can at least do a lot of damage to them, then jump. But this force here at Amsterdam... Well, this force at Cologne can hit Hanover. So your Jude Abbott push here to block them from going north. Cologne garrison under George Wade advance to this clearing here. Because they are they're a battlefield army rather than a um, siege army. Robin Agir is in range to attack Hanover. Oh no, he's just out. Nuts. You men march up. So this guy can wait a turn. So the the Austrians did not the Ottomans did not join the Prussians, which is great. But we've now got a couple of spots here where we can just take Norbert Vaughan, attack Hugo Hefter, we are victorious. bring in the fifth rate, Wera. You men take the trade post. Let's just spread it out. Spread the love out a bit. You can stay where you are for now. Then in the Straits of Madagascar, no change. East Indies... No change. So three. Okay, I might actually sell you guys back to the West African Trade Theatre. 159,000. We have lost trade. Understandably. Because uh, <laughs> we've been trading with them for a long time. So you're waiting. So we could probably do with taking a big fleet like you and Justin Seymour captaining the HMS Victory raid this trade region here and then that's going to block the Prussians from having access to the canal. May, to be honest we could probably run and take Gdansk anyway. Warsaw would be the one to take but so if we run and take Gdansk I don't, well you guys might make it I don't know. You, you guys are, would be out of distance. To be honest, could I just send a small army? Demand the territory. Fine. We'll, we'll keep sieging it. Because we can at least, this garrison will be strengthened. I'm curious to see what these guys do. They're going to go fanning out in all directions. That's a lot of 24 pound horse artillery. Um, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think these guys are just waiting, being like, go on, Prussia. Go on, Ottomans, do something. So they have no access to the sea. We can take this fleet that was originally going to be aimed at the Danish and come and attack this Prussian fleet here. We lost one shot, one ship. So you men put Rostock under siege. And here, because we don't need as many big ships, let's build a section of fourth rates. See, all my agents are doing tremendously well spying. Our Norbert Vaughan, yeah, you got an admiral bonus. So we're raiding trade zones, or raiding 
Raiding trade routes. Okay, this is going to be the dangerous bit. But what we're going to do before we waste a turn doing nothing is take another general, Robin Peterson. He too can... He too can build, start recruiting a army to invade. And there we go, that's all of the 24 pounder um, uh, horse howitzer units. So let's get some regular 24 pounders. Let's get, because we didn't, because we cancelled recruiting them earlier, we're going to get a unit of. Come on. There he is. Green jackets. And we're going to get a unit of Ferguson Riflemen. There we go. Then up here in Edinburgh. It's currently not doing anything. Recruit two guards, two fusiliers, two engineers. And then line. Because once that means the, when these guys are recruited, both these armies will be done. That's 10 units there. That's 10 units there. Good. Well, we've sorted that out. Okay, let's hit end turn. And let's see where the Prussians get up to no good. There we go. Scatter! Scatter! <laughs> good. I want the Ottomans to carry on attacking Russia. So I'm glad they abandoned their German allies. Yeah, they're immediately smashing their way west. Yeah, we've got one army that's marching towards us, so we can engage them. Do I want to intercept them? I think it's not going to make a difference, because they're probably going to attack us. Oh. They, I didn't realize that was a thing. <gasps> yes. Yes. Bridge battle, please. Please, please, please. Oh, that'd be perfect. And the Stuttgart garrison will just clear off. Well, I hope it's a bridge battle. I am on the bridge, but maybe I'm a bit too forward. Let's find out. Oh, I hope it's a bridge battle. Because we've got um, horse guard artillery as well. So that means it's going to be four or five howitzers per battery. Four or five... Um, Field artillery gun, field artillery pieces per battery, and they're going to be very accurate and do lots of damage. Yes, 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 yes. Right. So let's get some units and a fusilier units cover the bridge just in case. My artillery is going to be here in a giant battery to engage the enemy oh these are all regular 24 pounder howitzers fair enough where is the there yeah, okay it's okay it's right there okay let's deploy one howitzer back here deploy one howitzer back here to be honest i might actually deploy one battery team just like this because I don't want to run out of ammo. Um, so the Fusiliers can deploy here, either side of the guns, and the furthest away from the breach. We've got some Grenadier Guards. Well, each flank is going to have a Grenadier and two Line Infantry units. And that leaves us with... Well, you're deployed, you're deployed. That leaves us with... Okay, let's group these units together so we make sure we know they're deployed. Then we've got a bunch of cavalry. Well, I might deploy the lifeguards over on the right. But my general is going to be on, on the left, sorry. My general is going to be on the right. Ah, oh, Nadgers. Not entirely unsurprising. Form line. Okay, so first of all, let's organise our defence. We haven't got to worry quite so much about running out of ammo now.
Some grenadiers up on the high ground. Demon, fire it well off. Bring my lifeguards up front. So you guys... Key dropping canister shot. Oh, shrapnel sh Oh, shrapnel shot. So delicious. Yeah. This is a frustration, not a major problem. They're not going to use the alternative crossing point anyway, so... And you guys deploy square, because that, that's guard to core, they're nothing to... You don't, you don't just want to let them go. You want to let them have the way of it. Unfortunately, they have charged grenadiers. Good, they're going to rout... Well, potentially. General's bodyguard chase them down while they rout to make sure they actually die. So you can fire at will. And you can as well. Bit of, bit of rubber banding going on. You men form line. Okay, actually form canister shot. Quick climb coming in. Delicious. Can't enjoy it the way we'd like to though. Just run my cavalry away like so. So the Lancers can get shot at. Go on, Fuse. There's even you. My artillery back here. You're doing a good job. Doing good work against their gunners. There we go. All of this flank now. Be ready to open fire. Yep. I mean, these guys weren't ever going to have a great time crossing the bridge. The General's bodyguard chased away their heavy cavalry. It should really shrapnel shot. X. Oh. I was kind of expecting the AI wouldn't be able to make a move against us without... Okay, let's start quick climbing the axis of advance for enemy ca enemy reinforcements on the left. So don't worry about specifically targeting certain units. Just drop it where we know they're going to be. Enemy dragoons are coming in. They're wavering after losing a significant portion of their number. Will they rout? There they go. I mean, these Germans, they're nearly done. Now you guys might drop into square because they, they'll have done some your, your barrels will be empty. And especially because these, these guys are um, fusiliers. They are vulnerable. Unlike these guys, who I don't even really care about. Because they're just getting cleared out. Oh, yep. Delicious. Very well. Bring my cuirassier guard over here as well. It's 
to advance, then fire it will on to see what they do, although it looks like they are. Charge them with my heavies. Hopefully you should push away that unit of gendarmerie. It's a general's bodyguard unit, so they likely will not be able to resist the lure of the square. This entire force has been annihilated. So you, you, these units cease fire. You men attack these dragoons. This artillery and limber. Yeah, the general cannot resist the lure of the square formation. Charge my cavalry up. Because I want to get onto the battle. I want to get my um, troops to a point where they can. Well, you just attack the fusiliers. I want to get my troops to form a kill box. Although that might not be likely. Because it looks like now the enemy is. Because they are. They now they're routing on mass. Start dropping quick climb on this block. Superior line infantry. Well, look at you. I'll wager my chaps kill you much more effectively than you kill them. Blow my. burn my cavalry through let's keep on going you may as well try and attack the regiment there pivot the artillery pivot, pivot these guys pivot get some artillery up on the hill you're just <laughs> there's only one fusilier left so a carefully placed shrapnel shot might take him out completely First, the 14th Regiment, I see. You guys may as well chase down, chase them down, get our cavalry away over the bridge. Some Lanvin militia. Don't worry, our troops are on the troops on the flank are about to get some support. There goes the militia. But yeah, it's because all all a lot of their troops appear routed at the same time, which caused lots of these guys to to come in quicker than planned. My lifeguards stay that side of the river. Well, it looks like you're kind of stuck. These Swiss mountain jaegers charging my grenadiers. Not a wise decision. Get these these British grenadier guards up to the front. Yeah, they're charging us. Quick climb coming in. I mean, yeah, that wasn't ever going to work well, Mountain Jaeger. I'm not quite sure what you were thinking about, but there we are. Desperate times call for desperate measures. So again, this is a light infantry unit, and I'm curious. 
it's designated as light infantry, but it doesn't have the performance of light infantry. But what light infantry does is rather than firing by rank, the entire unit can fire when, when in regular formation. So maybe that's what these guys do. Maybe. Or maybe they get shot in the back by their own guys. Blunderbuss shotgunners are coming in trying to do some good stuff. This militia unit is going to bump into, I oh know, fusiliers, unless the grenadiers take them out. There we go. No combat, no <laughs> melee combat for you guys. It doesn't matter if the howitzers get there or not. These guys are done for. Superior line infantry or not. Find your last volley. You have. They move up. Engage the enemy. So who's this? Is the seventeenth foot guards, a stellar Prussian unit, but they are. They're hurting. They're hurting bad. Back you men go. Yep, and they retreated. So we're going to continue just because we've got troops are in they're in range. So just let them shoot. Don't worry about chasing them down. Although there is a nut. Oh good, they're close. I don't mind the howitzer getting away. I feared it was some bugged unit in the middle of the map. But no, it's an actual artillery team. Fair enough. But that's the word we want to see. Decisive. So that's two... Oh, look at that. 460 for nearly 500 men of ours lost. We've killed nearly 3,500 of theirs. Obviously, the horse artillery has done a fan done fantastic work. But my infantry has contributed too. Back you go. Yeah, the Prussians are advancing now on all fronts. Yeah. <coughs> oh, that's that's not a problem. The Republic did not shy from battle. You betrayed your allies. Come at us, Ottomans. I mean, I don't like that. They're going to go for Gibraltar? Okay, so the fleet we've got currently sat covering the um, the Baltics are actually going to... They demand an alliance and a money. What if I just don't give you money? <laughs> I don't want to give them money. They're transiting a trade zone with an army. I mean, if the Persians were brought into the war, then that might be a good idea, because I could use them to... Uh, I could use them to create another front against the Ottomans and their allies. But there we go. This is it. World War One. Ag, you gonna land your armies off the coast of somewhere? I mean, we knew that was gonna happen. But all that's gonna happen here is I'm just gonna attack Tripoli. Then both those, all of those forces disappear. So. No worries. No worries there. Oh, they're actually going to do Sally as well. Perfect. That makes it all the easier. Good, 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 good. So now... Now we know that... Uh, we know how things are. We can begin the, the invasion of uh, Italy with our troops that are currently sat just off the coast and that should be pretty pretty nice open up a southern front we might need to push quite aggressively in northern italy so put a big line for our artillery up front 
Put our marines and some light infantry guards on the flank. There we go, then a handful on the left. How it says a bit further back, slightly off axis. So let's put light cavalry on the flank, and because we've got quite a big gun line, I'm going to put my heavy cavalry behind it. I mean, canister shot. You're going to, you're quick, you're kind of quick trap or shotting the camels, which has been tremendously effective. So are those... Yeah, they're camel nomads, so we don't want to quick climb them ne necessarily, because we know they are actually going to push us. I'm aware that they're on the right flank advancing. But if they push, we'll just deploy into square. Right, just pull the wing back as a bit of bait. The shrapnel shots away. To be honest, I can probably get away with just putting my... Okay, you guys re-attack the camel nomads. Such devastating destruction. There we go. The camels are shattered. Those camels are going to be very upset. A good number of camel nomads. They're also going to charge. So let's deploy or get ready to deploy my um, marines in their glorious blue uniforms into square. Let's deploy them in square just in case. Yeah, look, so they're coming in. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. So we just kind of a shot when they're so close. I'm not sure if there's really a reason to do it, but a reason for doing it, but. Take this camel unit. Oh, they're camel gunners. So those guys on the other flank might actually, on the left, they might actually stand off a bit. Like they kind of want to go after our cavalry. Let's get my lifeguards on this flank because the camels on this flank are done. You guys stop firing. Cause you'll just shoot through this square now. Yeah, those camo nomads aren't going to stick around for very long. Run my hussars up front to take the volley. Deploy these guys into square. You guys deploy into square as well. Get my lifeguards around the flank. They've killed a bunch of their own men. Let's retarget my howitzers. They've bumped into my crewmen, my howitzer crew. There we go, there go the camels. Switch my howitzers to round shot, engage the general's bodyguard in the in the town. 
No, let's use my, my cavalry to chase down the camels. They're the nuisance, people. Although, to be honest, we can just attack all of them. Attack everybody. We can just get him involved. Lifeguards hit the general's bodyguards. All my artillery cease fire. Yeah, use my hussars to just annihilate some desert infantry. So have we got some hidden units somewhere, do you think? Oh no, Desert Warriors are alive, they're just there. Some of them are. Yeah, this is classic AI style. They're just going to go there and chase after my cavalry because they can't actually afford to stop me. They can't... Um, they can't attack my line. So I see the logic, but... God damn. Bombard that... Uh, bombard that... Um, there's a warrior unit. There we go. Okay, we've got some hidden... Oh, okay, come on, nomads. Yeah, you're attacking the lifeguards. That's not the best unit for you to go for. Lifeguards, they're heavy cavalry. They love you. Heavy cavalry love camels, because you can't really stop them. Heavy cavalry is more than enough. Like, um... Camels are pretty anti-cavalry, but not anti-heavy cavalry. No, 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 no. They're going to escape. Well, don't go over there, actually, if there's a couple of units right here that need killing. Because they've got a long way to run. So then you over here... They're going to escape successfully. Those desert warriors are done for. You men charge on. Here, these desert warriors. Come on. You messed up sallying out Barbary states, but I don't think I knew you don't really have a chance. Come on. Kill him. There's only one guy left now. No, there he is. One guy left. Yes. Slaughter. Advanced artillery. This is the problem with playing as, you know, more regular armies in late game because they've just not got the staying power. They just can't. They just can't withstand it. They just can't. Yes, yeah, so they're raiding. So obviously you need to be... Well. You push there. Moscow. Well, you men fall back into the city. And the city can. Oh, you got no. You don't want too many Swiss grenadiers. Get two engineers. So that's four infantry. You got your cavalry. You need five more regular line infantry. Good stuff. So they're now enemies. The Barbary states are going to die. But then this garrison at Tunis will hopefully. I can merge that, create that into something useful. So my fleet that's up here, you need to get back over here. I'm going to use Edward Hawke and his third rates to search. There they are. That's their fleet. So new men sail to their east. And then you're going to sail in and hit Balakdi Rusdi. Although I might. 
I might just auto it because we've got a massive fleet compared to theirs. And their highest, they've got one second rate. Oh, they've got a handful of third rates. If they had some first, if they had some firsts, or they got a couple of seconds. Oh, go on. We'll actually fight it because it's actually an important battle. Because if we kill them, they'll destroy their um, their army. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for hopefully a very decisive battle. And actually, this will be my first action with. Um, HMS Victory. So that should be pretty fun. But yeah, and there's HMS Beowulf as well, backing them up. Radio, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed.